I don't know. I mean, this is what I read uh, in uh, in the blog today that they have resigned um, on the question of principle because uh, Kazana was never set up with the intention of uh, uh, restructuring the economy or giving to individuals. It was never uh, the rationale or the raison d'etre for the creation of uh, Kazana. Kazana was uh, envisioned uh, as a financial uh, institution, investment institution, uh, to create wealth for the country. And once the wealth is created, then they will um, give back good dividends to the government. And at the same time, they'll be able to create new companies, uh, enter into uh, international market, uh, and uh, strengthen the talent base in the country. For the country to prosper, for the country to become an advanced economy, you need talent. And uh, institutions like Kazana was designed, uh, much like Tomasi, you know, to create talent. And if this talent is not the given opportunity in this country, talent will flow uh, to wherever they will get uh, the highest reward. And you will lose talent. Malaysia will lose talent. Once you start losing talent, uh, then uh, you will get mediocre management in the country. And, and the country will suffer, and the rakyat uh, will also not get the kind of dividends and returns, you know, through EPF, for example, BNB and all that. So um, I'm, I'm concerned about uh, the future of the corporate sector in Malaysia.